Education activists Monique Andrews and Joan Terrell challenged Jersey City Superintendent of Schools Dr. Marsha Lyles on the equitable allocation for Innovation High School, her annual contract cost, and whether or not members of the board are actually listening to their students. I graduated from Snyder High School, so it disturbs me to learn that a second school that is in its basement has now taken over a wing on the first floor. That I find very, very upsetting. I found this flyer here tonight, a brochure about Innovation High School. It's being referred to as a high school, this refers to it as a high school, yet when the presentations are made on film, Innovation is not listed. It wasn't listed in the presentation that was made here tonight. And I'm very confused about what exactly is happening to those children in the basement of Snyder High School. I am running for the president of the Jersey City branch of the NAACP. I expect to be successful in that effort. And in doing so, one of my first priorities will be Snyder High School. Because I want to know why is, why is it being ignored, why is it being treated this way, and what in detail has the state done to remove that title of priority or failing school? How can you do that to those students? I'm a resident and taxpayer of Jersey City. I am also the president of Snyder Parent Council. So with that being in place, the comments that were said on Tuesday night about just hearing from adults was so degrading that I just made to let you, let you, you know, let you know I'm paying the taxes, I'm paying for people's salary, and I have the right to talk about what these kids need. For a superintendent and board member to get so outrageous about, I just want to hear from adults, I'm tired of hearing from, uh, I mean, I want to hear from students, I'm tired of hearing about adults, the audacity of the adults, and, the, and I mean, the screaming went on and on, and not one board member, not one lawyer, shut her voice down. And that was written, and if I'm coming up here screaming, the reason I'm talking to y'all like that, because that's the way I felt when the superintendent spoke on Tuesday. And I couldn't say anything. And the problem with this is, we get to speak, the public gets to speak for five minutes. Y'all get to speak for as long as you want. Y'all get the last word. So when the public hears this, they think that y'all right. Just because y'all speak last don't mean you're right. The statement about not hearing from students. Who was not here at this table when the students from Snyder came here and complained and cried? And I cried that night. I spoke at this podium and broke down and cried because I didn't know that my students were getting their teachers being taken away from them and, and took, taken away from them out of the audio program. And they were talking about how their curriculum was being messed up and how they didn't know how they were going to get into college. Do we not forget that? Our teachers were taken away from us and brought down to innovation. And it, it demanded me to say we went to Florida now. Okay? So, but we were, we, were, we were taking that opportunity too. So don't say you didn't know that our kids were not being hurt. Y'all seen it. It was a whole bunch of them coming here complaining about this. So y'all know what's going on. Y'all are endorsing it. And whatever happens next, be careful of what you ask for. ...about people who do not want to help us make things work. I know we can have different opinions about it, but I can't understand fully the absolute refusal to sit down to take a look at this. Ms. Terrell, I have on occasion, I have emailed you to what you haven't respond. Let's talk about what's going on. I understand that as an alum of Snyder High School, you may have fond memories and you may think about things as how they used to be. I understand that. But I think that I would encourage everybody to also understand the need to look at how can we not only look at Snyder High School, but look at Jersey City Public Schools. And although the superintendents of schools contract clearly states that for the year 2015-2016, it's $344,195, she says the statement is false. I find it very interesting that people are talking about my salary. And for the record, that is incorrect. Incorrect. Incorrect by a long shot. And although I know it was said by a board member, it was incorrect. 
Dr. Lyles also addressed whether or not spending money on innovation was equitable. She cited the 2012-2013 no salary budget allocation. For Infinity High School, it was $280,670 for 188 students, making it $1,492 per student. Liberty High School was $188,875 for 211 students, making it $895 per student. Dickinson was $858,898 for 2,168 students, making it $396 per student. Lincoln High School was $365,521 for 825 students, making it $443 per student. Snyder High School was $387,913 for 1,001 students, making it $387 per student. The proposed budget for this coming year for Snyder High School is $11,545,827, which includes a Title I and salary and allocation for 900 students, which comes down to $12,828 per student. For Innovation High School, it's $1,884 for 178 students, making it $10,112 per student. The equitable allocation, I think, is the intent. It is no intention to disenfranchise anyone. It is no intention to take anyone's voice away. The goal is to provide choice and opportunity. The goal is to provide alternatives to parents who might send their children to charter school or to private school. Hudson County View, the eye of the community.